When was the last time you made a chicken pot pie? Pot pies have stood the test of time. Originally cooked on open hearths in Dutch ovens, they are the ultimate one-pot meal. And this one is filled with a delicious combination of tender chicken and flavorful vegetables. Chicken pot pie is, I think, the perfect choice for a cold winter night. Now, the first thing to do is to cook your chicken. This is a three and a half pound plump, nice chicken. Uh, it's sort of a little bigger than most broilers and a little smaller than most roasters. Now put it in a large stock pot with water to cover. There, that's perfect. Bring it to a boil and then turn down the heat to a simmer. It's gonna take about an hour to cook to 165 degrees on an instant read thermometer. Another thing to get ready are the vegetables. One medium onion that's peeled and cut into half inch pieces. One pound of Yukon Gold potatoes. Look how nice and yellow they are. Now these two are peeled and cut into about half inch pieces two or three carrots, depending on size, again, peeled and cut into chunks, and two cups of rich chicken stock. And in this heavy casserole, I have five tablespoons of butter, and I'm gonna saute the onions first for a little bit, then add the carrots, and then the potatoes. And you just cook until they're tender. Now, once that chicken is done, and you take the skin off and tear it into pieces, this is the size piece that you're looking for. Pretty uniform in size and well matched to the vegetables. So here the onions are just starting to soften. Add your carrots. And now add the potatoes. Oh, they are so beautiful. Get those coated with the butter. And so now after 10 or 12 minutes, the potatoes will be fork tender as will the carrots. Add your cremini mushrooms. They're a little bit firmer than those everyday mushrooms. Aren't they pretty? This is a lovely filling, and it's made even a little bit lovelier by the next addition, which is a half a cup of cognac. Now, the cognac's gonna deglaze the bottom of the pan, but it will also add a depth of flavor to the sauce, which I learned from an old friend years and years ago that the addition of cognac to a chicken pot pie was just phenomenal. Let the flavor get infused into all those vegetables. Doesn't that look pretty? I love how it looks. And then five tablespoons of flour. Sprinkle over all the vegetables. Better to sprinkle than to dump it all in one spot because this is what's really going to thicken your sauce and you wanna cook the floury taste out of the flour. So far, all the vegetables are still holding their shape, their color. You don't want to get them mushy in any way. Okay, now add two cups of chicken stock. Now the sauce will start to get thick. And one cup of whole milk. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. Bring to a simmer and cook for about two to three minutes. Then you'll see the sauce thicken nicely. You know how sometimes when you buy those prepared chicken pot pies and there's hardly any chicken and you wonder, why did I buy this? Well, now you don't ever have to buy one. You can make them. You can actually, after you put the pastry topping on, you can freeze the whole pie before you bake it and uh, you will have a fabulous meal for you and your friends or your family in the freezer. And we have one cup of peas, the little peas I like very much in this, two uh, tablespoons of chopped fresh thyme leaves, two tablespoons of fresh parsley. I use the flat Italian leaf parsley for this kind of cooking. And our chicken. And this is about two cups. Now it's nice and thick, add the thyme, Add the parsley and the peas. Very colorful, very healthy, very pretty, and fragrant. Mm, those herbs really help. And then add your chicken. 
Now you can see why the homemade chicken pot pie is so superior to anything that you can buy. Look at all that chicken. Look at all the goodness that goes into the pot. Now season again with a little bit of salt. Of course, salt is good. And pepper. And our next step, fill the ramekins. Now this filling should be enough for six pot pies. And these are beautiful heavy duty ramekins, which are intended for souffles or pot pies like this. So put the solids in first. You can always fill with a little bit more of that delectable sauce. Now we're gonna let them cool a little bit in the ramekins while we get the pastry ready. And we're using a pot feuilleté, which is a traditional French puff pastry. And you can make your own. If you watch the baking show, Martha Bakes, uh, you'll know how to make your own. But you can also buy pretty good quality puff pastry nowadays. This is a hearty, hearty meal. So you won't need much more than maybe a salad to start. It's very nice for a autumn lunch or a winter lunch or a main course for dinner. So just let the filling cool. Now, instead of making individual portions like this, you can make one large pot pie, which is also very beautiful. And I love to go to parties where one big pie serves a whole table of eight or 10. So here's our puff pastry. Use a little bit of bench flour. You're gonna need two sheets this size for the six pot pies. Work quickly because this softens so rapidly. It's filled with like a thousand layers of butter and pastry. Now you can use, if you don't have access to a good puff pastry like this, you can use a pot brise, which is pie crust. And that works very nicely too. So that's number one. Don't throw the scraps away. They can be used for decoration, for little panniers for the kids, just for little snacks baked with lots of sugar. There, so now we have our three rounds. Remove the excess neatly. Don't squish it all together because you can really reuse this for something. That should go right back into the fridge. And now these cut a vent hole in the center. Put these back on a parchment sheet and chill again just until they're really stiff and that will enable you to use them easily. Now our pot pies have cooled enough so that we can apply the pastry top. And here are the pastry tops, nice and cool, cold. Pastry rule, make it cold, bake it hot. Your oven should be preheated at 425. What I'm doing is applying glue, which is egg wash, just egg and water, to the edge of the ramekin. And you have to work really quickly to get this to stick and then make a pretty edge around. You can sort of make it up. Everybody has a different method of, of crimping and folding. But there, that looks, I think, really cute, doesn't it? So we're quickly, get all your pies done and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Before you get these into the oven, I would suggest egg washing like this. Then chill the whole tray again, just until the pastry is rigid, and you pop it into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Oh, I love how these are crimping. These are crimping perfectly. The pot pies can be assembled and refrigerated, covered, for up to one day before baking and serving. They can also be put into the freezer well wrapped and kept for a week or two before putting into the oven. The puff has puffed, the centers have bubbled. That is certainly 
a fantastic one dish meal that your family is really going to go crazy over. Chicken pot pie, a family favorite.